A Dearborn family is fighting today to stop their loved one from being deported. They petitioned lawmakers and immigration officials, and they've launched online campaigns to keep Teresa Pekovic in the states. They spoke with the now Detroit's Jane Park just a few hours ago, and Jane joins us live in Dearborn with the latest. Jane? Well, Brad, Glenda, Teresa came here to the Dearborn Police Department last night, and when her family called today, they were told she's no longer here, and that's confirming their worst fears. In fact, we learned she left Detroit and is possibly on her way back to Montenegro. She's an all-American girl, now with a one-way ticket out of America. I'm, I could get a call from her any minute right now saying, hey, I'm at the airport. Gada Pekovic says her sister-in-law, Teresa, is on her way to Montenegro, her home country on paper, after being detained by the immigration office since May. She went to homecomings and had friends and played sports and was a cheerleader in high school. As American as you can get. Teresa came to the U.S. from Yugoslavia in 1989 when she was five and lived with her family under political asylum until her father died. In 2007, Teresa's two brothers were deported to Montenegro. They eventually were allowed back because they were married and had kids. Now, Teresa faces the same fate, but with no sure promise she'll be able to return to the U.S. The family has petitioned lawmakers, garnered thousands of signatures on change.org, and started a Facebook campaign. And they say for the past four months, they hounded the ICE director in Detroit and got no response. Hello, you've reached Rebecca Adichie with ICE Enforcement and Removal Operations in Detroit, Michigan. Our calls also went unanswered. Last night, Teresa was brought to the Dearborn jail. Her family says it's the last stop before the airport. And this afternoon, Teresa's immigration lawyer confirmed what the family has feared. It's a battle the family feels they're fighting blindly. Tonight, they're asking why Teresa, who has no family in Montenegro nor knows the language, seemingly slipped through the cracks. She's got a suitcase. That's all she's got. She's got a suitcase and whatever's in it. So Teresa's sister tells me just an hour ago that Teresa uh, landed in New York and her next connecting flight is at 540. That will likely take her to Vienna, Aus Austria before finally arriving in Montenegro. The family, however, is not giving up hope they can do something in this 11th hour. They are asking people to petition lawmakers, ask immigration officials to do something. You can see those links on the Now Detroit Facebook page. For now, we're live in Dearborn, Jane Park, the Now Detroit. Thanks a lot, Jane. We also want to get you up to speed on